season 51, war number 7, and today we've matched four Loki, and the bands are Crossbones, Maestro, Moleman, Symbiote Supreme, and Chilth. And my team today is going to be Kate Bishop, America Chavez, and Spot. Spot is just there for synergy with Chavez, which is going to lower the opponent's energy resistance, therefore just making more damage and such. So it's going to be very, very helpful because this is mainly a very large Chavez war that I'm taking here. So we're going to boost up and start on path 5, and my first fight is going to be another Chavez. Um, so this fight is pretty fine for her because you're going to manage the power control very well with uh, your negative zones. So um, basically the way this fight can get out of control obviously is just the fact that Chavez is going to be gaining power sometimes if he activates a dimension and of course through Mystic Dispersion and uh, you're not able to parry stun her to give yourself easy openings. Well, the fact that Chavez is constantly locking down gives you those openings for her to throw specials often herself, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then, yeah, you can see she's almost already dead and we haven't even dropped an SP2 yet, so once I throw this uh, heavy and then go for an SP2, the fight's just about over. And then, yeah, the SP2 is going to finish the job, so... Uh, Chavez takes care of business for her first fight, and then we move on to section, or not section two, but the second fight in section one, where we fight this photon here with Kate Bishop, and I have never used Kate for uh, path five before. I've never really taken path five before, and I've also never been the best at the Kate versus photon matchup, but I play this one actually really well, um, so I'm proud of how it went considering I'm not the best at this fight. Um, what we're gonna basically do is just start by going for the riposte and then heavy attack right after the untouchable goes away because you do have like half a second um, to where you can actually land it. And then uh, I almost messed up really badly there if she decided to block my SP1, but she didn't luckily, so um, that's not a problem. I'm gonna go for an evade there, same thing, just wait out the untouchable. It's gone now, drop an SP1 and uh, she's going to be in pure light form and now doing a bunch of extra damage and such but uh, we just anti her special attack and it's fine. So anyway the protection is back up and I bait an SP1 out of her, she throws it and here I just need to go for a heavy attack um, which you know we're not gonna be able to refresh the cold snap or anything but we do at least get the ebb and flow uh, Fury, so she's gonna die very shortly after. If I just drop the SP1 and then a couple ticks of the cold snap finishes the job, so. All right, now we're also gonna do something I haven't done before, and that is Kate, a tactic defender. Um, in theory, this was like not very hard because during the auto block phase, you just kind of use only heavy attacks, and during the evade phase, you just shut it off with cold snap, so. Um, it didn't seem too hard for me, so I did assign it to myself. I did assign this, uh, this war plan. I did make this whole war plan on my own, um, which was pretty cool, and I figured that I'd be fine doing this fight, so. Triggered on phase there, but, um, she has the passive stun on her evade anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And, uh, he's also stun immune during his autoblock phase, obviously, so I'm not going to be going for anything fancy during that part, but... Uh, we can get another knockdown really quickly just by doing that. And then he dashes backwards and does his special one thing. And then yeah, he's about dead, so um, pretty easy fight. Again, you can Kate a lot of tactic defenders. Obviously, Overseer is one of the easier ones, so it's not a great showing of how she does it. But still, um, we've sent Kate at some stuff uh, tactic-wise ourselves. So I know it definitely works. And um, that was just the first time I gotten to do it on my own, and I'm pretty happy with how it went. So uh, next up, we're going to be fighting a Hulkling here on Node 35, which uh, you see this placement not too often anymore, but um, he obviously works for it. He's just kind of a pushover for Chavez, um, so it's not too big a deal. And you saw Hulkling's Indestructible go away really fast which is pretty cool, because if I remember correctly, that is a synergy with Chavez and Kate that makes it to where um, Indestructible buffs go away really fast. Uh, I'm trying to look it up. It is reduce the duration of an opponent's Indestructible and regeneration buffs by 40% for each unique parallel dimension. So if you have uh, three of them, then 
yeah, uh, three of them just completely shuts off regen and indestructible, which is really cool. Uh, I didn't even know about the synergy like, details going into the uh, fight, so I was like, oh, uh, I guess that does something really cool with the indestructible and um, regen, so here we go. Um, the fight is over, and now we move on to the mini-bosses, starting with Gore here on Node 40. Which is a uh, pretty easy Chavez fight, except for the fact that you can't use an SP2 because it's energy damage for the most part, so high energy diet is going to be a problem there. And Gore is going to be going unblockable a lot. I'm also going to get caught on a dashback and possibly almost die. Um, I'm not going to because uh, you'll see why. Um, it was it was bad. I just messed up and. Uh, he could have used a second medium and it might have killed me, um, but it's okay, it didn't. Uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna go in to like, hit him and then he just light intercepts me, and luckily he used a light ending combo instead of a medium one, so I'm actually safe. Um, you can see we also have a Mr. Fantastic pre-fight, um, which is just nice because uh, we can reduce his regenerate a little bit, um, because obviously we're still doing a lot of damage, but the regen is still always gonna be there. Um, so, well, most of the time at least, and then, uh, that's not a big problem, again, because of the Kate's energy, like you saw his regen just wasn't there. Um, but other than that, you know, the Petrify was definitely very helpful, and I was gonna get Mr. Fantastic pre-fights for this fight anyway, so I wanted to have a Petrify for that fight. Um, so last up, we're gonna be fighting this massive serpent on Node 46, and with Sim Supreme being banned, the only... Uh, champion I trusted to take this fight was a rank 3 America Chavez, and I was the only person with a rank 3 Chavez that wasn't on defense. Um, so uh, I was like, well, I guess I'm having a big Chavez war, aren't I? Um, and I was really scared going into this fight just because, again, the Serpent is actually massive, so uh, it could go wrong very fast. Um, but luckily, we just keep the negative zone gain as high as possible, also timing the negative zone gain with our SP2 to where we actually gain two of them instead of just one, um, which is going to help a lot there. Uh, we dash in during a special attack so I can get the counter. There I actually shouldn't have countered because my spacing was a little bit uh, farther away than it should have been. And we throw another SP2, I don't get any crits but that's okay, we still have his power under control. I'm gonna go for a double heavy, which is another thing I shouldn't have done, because he could have stand your grounded me, but he didn't, so uh, it wasn't a massive issue. And then I'm gonna get clipped by an SP1, he threw it when I was holding block, which, you know, just sucks, but whatever. We're gonna push him into death immunity real quick, and then we control most of the power with our negative zones, like we have three there, and that was under control. Now it's not, but now we have three again. And then his death immunity also just ran out, so I was like, okay, the SP3 kills, we're chilling. And yeah, it does kill, so... Uh, I didn't need to be worried about that fight as much as I was, so I'm very happy with how that went. And yeah, Chavez took care of business, so that is going to be my War 7. Not the biggest war for me, but also uh, not the smallest, especially when I didn't have any clarity champs, I couldn't take too many fights. Um, so I'm proud of how this war went, still only one death on the season for me. A uh, fight that I just shouldn't have assigned myself, but mistakes happen, so. Uh, now I at least know to not make that assignment again, and um, we did lose this war, so now uh, now we're like 3 and 4, and I'm very concerned for how our spot's going to end for the season, but best we can do is just keep trying our hardest. 4 Loki played absolutely fantastically with only 4 deaths, so um, we definitely got beat quite badly because they played very well, but... um. GG's to them, all the guys in 4Loki, you know, there's a bunch of other YouTubers there, and, um, I hope they do well for the rest of the season as well, and that is going to be my war video, if you enjoy watching, I, uh, hope you leave a like or a sub if you feel like it, and then I will see you in the next video.